We're going to start with former President Donald Trump, expected to leave Palm Beach Airport for New York, where he's going to turn himself in tomorrow to face criminal charges. We don't know the exact charges. We know them when the indictment is released tomorrow. But we do know the investigation is focused at least part on a hush money payment before the 2016 election. We are covering all the angles this morning, what to expect at the arraignment, the legal minefield Donald Trump could be facing. We also have a new poll on what the American people think of this unprecedented indictment. Rachel Scott starts us off at Mar-a-Lago. Good morning, Rachel. George, good morning, and this will be a moment unlike any other in American history. In just a few hours, former President Donald Trump will leave his Mar-a-Lago estate to do something that no former president has ever done before, turn himself over to authorities. This morning, former President Donald Trump is preparing to leave his Mar-a-Lago estate and surrender to authorities in New York, his attorney already promising a fight. He's gearing up for a, a battle. Um, you know, this is something that obviously we believe is a political persecution. He's a tough guy, George, as you know, and he's someone who's going to be ready for this fight. It's the first time a former president has ever faced criminal charges. Given the historic nature of the indictment, Trump's own lawyer admits he doesn't even know what to expect. This is unprecedented. I don't know. I've done a million arraignments in that courthouse um, with, with celebrities and whatnot, but this is a whole different thing. Um, we have Secret Service involved. What I hope is that we get in and out of there as quickly as possible. The indictment remains under seal until Trump makes his first appearance in court tomorrow. But sources tell ABC the former president faces around two dozen counts, including felonies, in connection to a hush money payment made to porn star Stormy Daniels before the 2016 election. The indictment has unified the Republican Party, six governors and 90 Republicans on Capitol Hill, putting out statements in support of the former president. Overall, it's ridiculous. If this is politically motivated, this will be a shame on, on our, our criminal justice system. Even Trump's potential rivals rushing to his defense. They're trying to do all these legal gymnastics to try to act like it's a felony when almost every other time he's trying to take the felonies and downgrade them to misdemeanors. This guy is doing politics. He has an agenda. That is not the rule of law. One Republican who is not, former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson, who told our Jonathan Carl he plans to run and challenge Trump in 2024. Do you believe that now that he's been indicted, should he drop out? Well, I do, and for a couple reasons. I mean, first of all, the office is more important than any individual person. And so uh, for the sake of the office of the presidency, I do think that's too much of a sideshow and distraction. As Trump prepares for that court appearance tomorrow, our latest ABC News Ipsos poll shows that 45 percent of Americans believe that Trump should be charged with a crime. 32 percent, including the majority of Republicans, say that he should not. After his arraignment, Trump is expected to travel right back here to Florida to deliver an evening address. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.